Hey, good morning, folks. Today, I'm just gonna run through some fabrication techniques on where to mount your transducer. Uh, this one has had several attempts at putting them on. There's a lot of holes uh, below the waterline. I think that the waterline's probably somewhere here. Uh, there's a lot of holes underneath there. I'm gonna fill in all of these holes and I'm gonna make a transducer bracket and then I'm also going to show you how to mount it using a straight edge, where the bracket needs to finish, where the transducer needs to sit, uh, all interesting stuff. So uh, first of all, we're gonna fill in these holes and then after the holes are filled in, I'm gonna make a bracket and sit the bracket in the right spot. The bracket's gotta be in between these ribs uh, to get the best results for your transducer. We're gonna go through it all. Now look at the shape of the back of this boat. It's all curved, a beautiful shape there. Um, what you wanna do is you want to try to make your transducer bracket flush with the bottom of your hull. So you want to bring this up like so so that you get the minimal amount of disturbance off the bottom of the boat to your transducer, all right? Um, of course, we're gonna fill in all of these holes first, but this is just the laying out of it, trying to get the least amount of interference. So this is not bent 90 degrees, neither is this one. I, I like to keep the top one so that dirt or dust sits on there and falls off it. It doesn't get trapped and caught there. And same with this one here. So once I finalise the spot, I want to have it in between these two here. Once I finalise the spot, sit this under here. You can see that that just runs straight off. That's trying to give you the best possible picture of it. Runs straight off from underneath there. Then I want to mark out where I need to remove the paint. Down here. So I'll remove all of this paint from here just a little section out of that and clean off all this section here as well. I'll do that. I'll do that with the wire brush, electric wire brush. And I'll just put a couple of little stitches on the top and on the bottom on the here. Try not to, I, I did see some a person on YouTube mounting a transducer and they ground this weld away. Now obviously they're not a fabricator, they're just a uh, transducer guru. And they're trying to get even a better finish for that. But by grinding that weld away there to make it absolutely smooth, sure this little weld will give you a little bit of interference, but you don't want a cracked hull here, and this is where they all crack. You know, from the torque of the motor here, flexing on this, it just ends up cracking along here. Grind the weld off, you got no strength in it. Also, looking at this now, I can see that there's a lot of dirt and corrosion build up inside these holes. So they've just obviously undone the bolts and removed the bracket. And he did clean it off a little bit. The customer did the cleaning off a little bit. And uh, I can see that it will be very difficult to weld these holes up cleanly. So I'm going to re-drill all of those holes a little bit bigger.
Right, so all of those holes now are all the same size. They'll TIG weld up nicely. And uh, once they're all done, I'll sand them all off. You won't even know they've been done. And we'll put the transducer bracket on in the right spot. I've got my TIG torch. I've got a little bit of uh, filler wire. I've got all my safety gear on, some gloves. Again, amperage is variable. So I turn it on and see how hot I need to get it. If I need it hotter, I make it hotter. Turn it down, I'm building up now. There's the first one finished. There's six done. We've just got the other ones over this side to do now. I've run out of filler rod. There we go. I'll get the sander and just take those, the little top edge off those and make it look pretty. And that's the prep done for filling in the holes. Now for the transducer bracket to mount onto there. I'm going to MIG weld the transducer bracket on. Okay, there we go. I've put one tack onto this. I've got it flush with the bottom here. There's a little bit of a lean on the top here. It's big enough to put a transducer bracket on and mount it in between these two chines of the boat. This is probably the most important part is getting this right before welding it on. I'm just going to tack each corner. Just run a little tiny weld. Now because the bracket has gone over these chines, I have enough room to put a little tiny weld on those chines as well. You may not be able to see that, but I'll do it from underneath here. have it, I'll get the paintbrush and just give it a dust off.
all the paintbrush does is get the black soot off. Sometimes the black soot doesn't come off if you don't get your welding torch on the right angle. Just a little touch with the wire brush. Makes it look real pretty. And there's our transducer bracket on. I'll give you a quick little walk around. Flush with the bottom there. And remember guys, if I leave you with a job and there's unanswered questions, don't be shy. Uh, hit the subscribe button and you can also ask me any questions that you might feel that are left unanswered after I do a job or even why I do something or how I do something. Ask the questions. I'll do my best to give you a most honest, accurate answer and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.